Okay, Prophet 6 back again. I want to touch on another scripture. This is another response video. I want to touch on another scripture that was brought up. I, I actually dealt with this scripture at some length, but I want to touch on it some more because there's something else that needs to be highlighted. And that's Revelation chapter 22, 19. I got some little, some more nuggets, okay? Now, Paul, uh, John said, John wrote the book of Revelation. John said, if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, you listen to that very carefully. Because when you are not rightly dividing the word of truth with the aid of the Holy Spirit, I'm not talking about with a concordance or with uh, 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 Googling something on Google. No, you got to have the Holy Spirit even when you do that. But if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, look what he said. If any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and out from the things that are written in this book. Now, as I said before in one of my other response videos, when it says this book, it's not talking about the Bible. It's talking about the book of Revelation. John is talking about the book that he had, that he wrote, talking about the book of Revelation. Now, I want to show you something else. This is the new twist or the new nugget that I've added to this that the Holy Spirit has given me. He says this book. He said, don't add to this book, right? And don't take away, right? So does that mean that the book of Revelation should not be with the rest of the canon of scriptures in the Bible? Somebody did add the book of Revelation to the rest of the book of the Bible. Didn't he just say, don't do that? That's not what he's talking about. He's saying, don't mess with the book of the Revelation. Don't take anything out of this book and don't add to this particular book. But we know that the book of Revelation is a part of what we call the canon of scriptures. We know that. So is a curse on any Christian who has the book of Revelation in their Bible? Or should the book of Revelation be all by itself, separated from the rest of the canon of scriptures? Look what he says. I want to tell you, maybe you don't get what I'm saying right now. Maybe this is just a bunch of gibberish to you because I, I get those kind of messages. This is just gibberish. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm going to go over it again. If any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Let's go to verse 18. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add. Wasn't the book of Revelation add with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Jude, Revelation, 1st, 2nd, 3rd Peter, 1st, 2nd John, 1st Corinthians? Wasn't it added with that? Is that what Paul, Peter, is that is that what John was talking about? So, in, so... Because if some people stick to the conclusion that they, this unscriptural conclusion that they come to, the book of Revelation shouldn't even be with the rest of the books. Why? Because that's adding other books to it. The book of Revelation shouldn't be in your Bible. That's what I'm saying. If you're going to take this, this crazy notion that, that when, uh, when it says don't add anything to the book of Revelation, that means don't add anything to the Bible. The book of Revelation had, was added to the Bible. Now, what you going to say about that? And John specifically said, don't add anything to this book. Let's read it again. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, shall God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. They took the book of Revelation 
and they added it with the rest of the New Testament uh, books. That's adding. The Bible even says, I think in Isaiah chapter 8, word, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. But when it comes to the book of Revelation, you, you got to study that outside of the rest of the canon of scriptures that we have. And, and, and as I said in my last video, every Bible writer, author has added to the Bible. Every single one of them. From Moses to 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 John, to Peter, to Jesus. Jesus didn't write a book, but he added, his words were added to the book, the canon of scripture. Peter, Paul, James, John, Zechariah, Zephaniah, Haggai, Malachi, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Hosea, John, they all added to the scripture, y'all. So John is not saying don't add anything to the scripture. It's crazy. So, but anyway, that's basically all I wanted to, to add. I didn't want to keep you too long. But uh, God bless you. And I want to tell you, I do this with love from my heart. I want to see people get into the kingdom. And I want to see Christianity arise from being what it is now, a gutter religion, a pagan religion. Christian, and, and, and yes, I do say that I'm a Christian. But Lord, have mercy. Right now, you're really not saying much. That's why you have to have an individual relationship with Christ. But I'm talking about in the corporate sense of the word, Christianity is a pagan religion, a gutter religion. And I'm saying that as a Christian. It's terrible. And I, and I hate to see Christians from the North America going all overseas spreading this stuff around into lands where people are worshiping idols and stuff. They better off worshiping idols because you all you do is come into Christianity and worship some more as it stands right now. Are there true Christians out there? Absolutely. Do they love God? Absolutely. But I believe that you got people that are in pagan religions and they love the same God. I do believe that. They just don't, they don't have a clear revelation of who he is. A progressive and clear revelation of who he is. And that's why Jesus said, I have sheep that are not of this fold. I believe God is going to call people from all kind of stuff that we're going to be surprised. I believe God is mighty to save. I believe that. I don't think he can only save people that think they're Christians. Are paganized Christians. So God bless you and keep you. And uh, leave your comments. You have any uh, concerns? You want to talk to me? Feel free. Whether you agree or disagree, I'm going to treat you like a Christian, no matter how you treat me. Uh, uh, my phone number eight one five nine two nine nineteen eighty eight. You can just call me Lewis. You don't have to call me Prophet. You know. But uh, God bless you and keep you. Uh, or tough guy, whatever. Take it easy. Bye bye.